Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will see what are the updates which came in Angular 16 based on routes. I have explained about signals and other updates of Angular 16 in my previous video. I will provide the link in the description. Please watch that for better understanding. This video will completely focus on what are the updates which we came up in Angular 16 only on routing based. I will be explaining modular approach as well as standalone approach. So let me go into the next slide. Here we will cover all these scenarios in this particular routing updates of Angular 16. First thing, how to configure the input decorator usage for accessing the route data in modular approach as well as standalone approach. And also we will focus on how to access the query parameters and the parameters by using an input decorator. So that is the main feature which came in routing. That means you can use routing with at the rate input decorator to access query params as well as normal parameters and also we can access a data object and also we can access resolvers in our application so to use this feature first thing you need to be in angular 16 and then you can use either in modular approach or you can use in standalone approach first we will go with angular 16 with modular approach so here I'll just go and configure the things before configuring let me go into the package JSON and inside this package JSON you can see our angular application is completely 16 but this is completely a modular approach you can see that I have set of modules over here and now let me go into app routing and just configure our routes let me remove this and let me create one component ng generate component and the component name is login I have only one particular login component and it is using a modular approach so if you go to the app module you have a login component and this component is not a standalone so we are clear with this creation of component and now let me go into app routing inside the app routing I want to configure one path and the path is something like a login and also let me use a component the component name is login now let me save this here what we are doing is we have only one route and I am passing that as login but I want to pass some set of parameters to this that is mandatory parameters let me use colon ID so I'm not using any of the lazy loading all the stuff because I'll completely concentrate on accessing the data from this ID into our component so now what I want to do is if you want to access this ID what we generally do is we will be using the previous pattern that is nothing but private activated route activated route colon activated route and by using this activated route you will be getting the value const ID is equal to this dot activated route dot snapshot dot params dot the ID whatever the ID you want you can get that ID this is a previous approach we generally follow but now no need to configure all this activated route and stuff let me comment this what I generally do here is I'll create one input decorator now so you have an input decorator and this input decorator what I'm trying to do is I'm just matching with this particular ID so now I want to accept this input decorator that input decorator need to accept this ID let me go here and pass this ID and I'll not give any value to this so let me give a string and I'm using not why because we are not initializing any value and when the ID updates I want to show in my UI let me go into login.html and let me show ID over here so ID hyphen so what I am doing is I am trying to access this ID from our route instead of passing this input decorator at the parent level even this input decorator helps us to access the data from our route so let me go here and check let me go to 4300 because I am running the modular approach let me go here and change this app.component.html and make it as 16 but for our understanding let me go with modular approach and to show our routes let me go and create our route outlet router outlet save this now go here and just give login slash some number 1 2 3 and hit enter now you can see ID you didn't got an ID why because if you want to use that input decorator to access the data from your route 
you have to configure in your app routing module go to app routing module and uh, create one configuration over here the configuration is binding configuration so let me go here and create a configuration which is like binding to component inputs if you make this as true then your input decorators will try to access all the dynamic values which are inside your route for example in this case id is a dynamic value and that will be binding to your component inputs just it will check whether this id matches with the input decorator id so if you see here we are using the same id parameter and here also we are using the same id parameter after keeping this property or the configuration we will be seeing that value in your UI. Let me go here. You can see one, two, three. Let me update this four, five, six, seven and hit enter. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means you are able to access your parameter that is mandatory parameter in your UI. And also now let me access some query params. So let me use at the rate input again. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to use query param name colon. It's also a string okay and now let me go here and give not let me copy this query param name go to the HTML and query param name I'm just printing over here so what it will try to do is it will check the values which are after that question mark so I'm giving query parameter name is equal to I'll just give psi or you no need to give the parameter with quotes let me hit enter you can see query param name as psi if this doesn't match for example I'm just using query param then you will not able to see the value that means whatever the input decorator you are using that should match something on the URL either a query parameter or mandatory parameter this is how you can pass your query parameter and also you can pass your mandatory parameter in your modular approach now there is one more thing where we can pass the data that is by using resolver as well as data object inside your routing let me go here into the routing and pass the data object I want to pass some data and I want to pass a role and the role is something like an admin so I want to access this role in my component let me go into login.component.ts just create one more input decorator and that input decorator will have a name called as role because we are giving the role there let me use a string and now we will be getting this role and let me print in our component.html as a paragraph let me use a paragraph and role hyphen that value will be role let me save this now this data you are getting from the role data that is from data object let me go here you can see admin this admin is passed to this route from our routing configuration via data object now let me go into app routing let me start writing some set of resolver so resolver actually we can write the resolvers n number of resolvers so for now I'll just use something like get message so this is my resolver or just use a message over here you can use any name and instead of creating a resolver from 15 we can even use something like this that means arrow function by using this arrow function I can return some set of data now I am returning only resolver message and just save this now what it will do whenever your component resolves or the route path resolves then you will be getting this message let me copy this message go into login component and create a input decorator again the input decorator will point to message and now you can get the string format let me copy this message go into your login component.html create one more paragraph and now I'll use resolved data this is from resolver data and the value is the message whatever you are passing over here so let me go here this message I have passed from our resolver data so that's how you can pass the data from your routing and access the data in your component by using your input decorator now this is something which is related to the modular approach so now what I will do is I'll just try to do the same thing in the standalone let me go here into the standalone and this is running at the port 4200 and this is the value whatever we are seeing here angular application let me go into app dot 
component.html and let me make this as standalone approach and now here already the routing configuration is configured let me go into app routes first thing we need to configure this app routes for that sake let me create a component ng generate same component i am creating component and the login let me hit enter now this is something related to the standalone because this complete application is a standalone application and whatever the components you are creating that will be a standalone components if you see here you have a standalone as true that means it's a complete standalone application now what I will do is I'll just configure the routes let me go into app routes and go here just go and create your path and the path is something like login slash colon ID the same approach and the component whatever you want to show that component can be a login component this component should have the capability to receive the data whatever passed in the routes to achieve that let me go to app config and here what I'll do is I'll use something called as with component input binding this is a method which is given in the standalone and that should be provided in your provide router so this router will accept the second parameter where you can pass your with component input binding and that is coming from your router so same thing but the way of declaring and the usage is bit different in the standalone because we have a complete standalone application over here now we have configured this and let me go into login component.ts and just create one input decorator. The input decorator contains or will receive an ID which is not having any value by default and just let me show this in my login.component.html. Go here and create a paragraph. Let me write a param and the param value is an ID. Let me save this. Now go here to the browser and here you are not seeing anything because we didn't we are in 4200 now let me go into login slash 123 hit enter you can see params as 123 let me change this to 4567 and hit enter now you can see 123 so this has been called now let me go back and now go to your query params let me create one more input decorator and that input decorator is a query param decorator and this is having something called a string and save this now I want to show this query param in my HTML so create a paragraph and pass the query param and here I'll just pass the query param I'll remove this equal to and make hyphen so whatever the query parameters we are passing over here that will be rendered in your UI so for example the query parameter is query param is equal to I just want to pass psi and you can see that psi whatever we are passing over here that is visible over here and now next thing is we want to pass the data and the resolver let me go into app routes and pass the data so data and the data contains something called as role and inside this role I want to pass super admin now I want to access this role it's very simple go here and create at the rate input decorator and the input decorator is role and now I can pass it as a string so let me save this and go to the role copy this and put it in your login.html create a paragraph and the role and this is something like a role which is coming dynamically from the route let me go here and you can see super admin that is coming from your data object and the last one is go here into app routes and create your resolvers and the resolvers is an object you can pass any data I'll pass the message and the message is something like standalone resolver something like this and save this now you want to access this message go into your login component.ts and just create an input decorator and inside this decorator I want to pass something called as a string and let me print this value copy this message go to the login.html and create a paragraph and create this message which is coming from resolver and just pass this message go here to the browser and you can see message as standalone resolver that means we are able to pass the query parameters we are able to pass the mandatory parameters we are able to pass the normal data and also we are able to pass the resolver data from our route and we are able to capture by using our input decorator this is one of the nice feature which was provided by our angular 16 but there is one thing I personally saw like the problem here is this input decorator we will not aware whether this value will be coming from the UI whether it is coming from the route that would be a bit confusion so always I recommend you to create some set of 
comments so this input decorators decorators comes from routes so make a section like this and just try to write all your routes or all your configuration over here so that the other person who is trying to understand the code he will understand that these input decorators are coming from your route not from the component because this input decorator can be passed in two ways one is by using a routing and also one more is by using the selector so whenever you sell you use this selector somewhere else you can pass the data from there also so in that case it is always recommended to use some set of comments to avoid the confusion for the other folks whenever they are trying to see the code so this is about your input decorator and route configurations which are given in angular 60 hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you